What's up guys, Dilix here. Today I'll be teaching you how to become the strongest airbender in this really good game, Avatar Rogue Benders, alright? So, if you want to become strong like me, I'm an air nomad, I'm actually pretty strong myself. So, I'm going to be teaching you guys some tics, tips and tricks, and every single training location you can find to become a strong airbender. So the first airbending spot where you can get, learn to get your moves is right here. Shinsun Taro moves, right? Of course, I have all the moves, so it's kind of useless, but I'll put up the, the amounts on, on the screen. And yeah, basically that's it. For the second one, we want to go over here. But actually, first, let's go get our gliders real quick. The gliders are up here on this tall little um, house over here. Where the crates used to be for the crate quest. Right here. And they're about $1,500 for glider. Now, as you can see, I have hammers and gliders. I won't be revealing the secret, so you just got to find it out for yourself. Let's just head over to the second trainer real quick. So, if you want to get to the second trainer, what you want to do is go up to like this little rock over here, as you can see, and you just want to press your glider, go up a little bit, then you want to go this direction, go up a little bit more, and once you see that little bridge over here, you want to just come down, go run. And you're gonna see the dude over there. The little bald guy over there. You can use air scooter to speed it up. Hold on. The little bald dude over here. And he teaches you air gush, air push, and air swipe. The amounts will be up on the screen. So for the last and final trader, actually, there's two more. The third trainer is over here, uh, we just passed him, so you want to go fly up all the way up here, and once you see up a little mountain, I mean a little like waterfall, you'll know where he is, about like right here, he's not too far from the air temple, he sits up here, and this quest is a little more, a little harder than the others, right, because you're going to need about 15k, um, 9k wisdom and 3k chi and he teaches you this move air scooter and you can use it to climb up walls and whatnot it's really fun to use but it's very stamina draining so for the last and final trainer you want to go all, all the way over here and you just want to fly here And once you see the shore, once you see the shore, you want to take a right over here. And once you pass these camps, you know it's going the right way. So you want to keep going. And eventually you should make it to where you need to go. So you're gonna take this little like line over here. I'm gonna use air scooter because it takes a long time to get over here. And you wanna go down since you, not everyone has double jump, but you're gonna get double jump right here. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a little sick. All right. And once you get over here, you wanna use your glider, glide up, and there should be a man on one of these houses. Let me just find him real quick. Yeah, this one. This house. And he's gonna teach you the double jump, which you can use to glide like this. Enter the void. This is your last warning. Empty and become wind. Without having to use a glider. It's basically like flight, but you don't actually fly. And it costs 10k. Take you want, and I don't think there's any actual requirements 
but I have to check them myself. And that's the basics on the trainers. Now let's get to general combat skills and whatnot. So now that we're back, let me actually teach you the basics of how to get strong. So I don't really have a... It's like this kid right here. He doesn't know. So... When you're typically doing like an M1 combo... Actually, I can attack this with all. Let me show you. Hold on, let me just fix my, my shit real quick. Yo, come on, bro. I'm not even ready. Alright. So we're gonna teach you, right? Attack this kid. I can. You wanna do this? And you wanna do this afterwards. And you wanna go for another combo. And you wanna send it to the ground and he just dies. Air is pretty easy to use, in my opinion. So, like, like this dude right here. Just attack him, attack him like this. Hit him. Make sure on the third M1 you just stop and you can use air gush. Or you can use air push. And it'll be on the ground. See, that was easy mud. As you can see. See, this guy's running, but he doesn't know you. He doesn't know I'm the good. <laughs> okay, I'm actually going to I'm getting you out right after. See, I'm very M1 based. Most people are not going to be M1 based. If it's a fight people. But I like my M1s. So I'm not going to lie. That's why you don't see me like maneuvering around it. Like, of course, if he's running because he wants to fight me and then he just runs away. But that's fair enough. It's a pressure. But, like I was saying, as you saw before, I did three M1s. Two, about two or three air combos, go back to M1s, because they're not going to have enough time to react if you do about two or three air combos. And then on the, the, the wait, one, two, three, four, on the fifth M1-ish, you want to use air gush or air gush. And air swipe, you can use, that's more of like, when you're waiting for your cooldowns. Air palm is also really good, because it's also a combo tool. However, I'm not really a fan of air palm, but it's really good. In the right situations, I just feel like the other moves are a little stronger. So let's just go to up to this dude right right here. I forgot where he was. I'm gonna go steal his money. Um, be also be wary of your positioning. You definitely want to be more movement based. Do not use air scooter to run away. Let me tell you something. Air scooter is a chase down maneuver. You want to use air scooter only to chase down. And while you're using air scooter, you can also do this. So. Not like that, but like this. And you can jump with air scooter and just like double, like do all this other crazy stuff. Or you can like cancel it in midair and do some other stuff. But if you're trying to conserve, like just like kind of like do this or don't go too crazy on the air scooter. And you don't really need glider for much because you're gonna have double jump once you max. So that that should be the basics of general air bending. Um few tips try yeah like try not to run away in fights act like don't act too passive but act passive enough so like when you're like hitting someone like a combo or whatever you can like come back and uh, do a little bit of this jump to some air brushes, but don't be too you know turtley because we're still very like we're not very tanky very mobility based so we have like set like three mobility options two of them if we're like in combat and you want to conserve your stamina. That's a big thing. Conserve your stamina. Because if you don't have, like, stamina in a fight, bro, you're basically cooked. You're like, how are you going to chase down with air speed? You're, you're, just, you're just done. I'm not going to lie. So, I think for the next section, we'll just be, like, dedicated to PvP and whatnot. So, let me go skip over to that. Alright, victim number one. Fly over. <laughs> Am I this bad? Alright, well. As you can see, do this. Damn! Okay. Very hard to get your emblems in. Also, that, those have a longer range reaction on them, so you want to 
to use that to the fullest. I really tried predicting them, though. Am I a fraud? Yeah. You can't run away from the other one. Let me try, he's not gonna work. Watch. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough for it. I'm not gonna blame him, I did jump up, but he has lighted, so. He should be maxed. I thought he can get away. Oh my god! Does he just ever run out? I have to use air palm, bro. Actually, nah, 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 nah. Bro! This is why we don't play airbender, guys. I know I did jump him. Right? Okay, I don't have enough stamina. Look, look, look at this. If I have. This is why you can save your stamina. If I had more stamina, I would be able to catch up with. So, like two seconds. Like, watch. But of course, he's gonna run. See, like, I'm not even paying attention to it. Back to it once. My combos are deep. Oh! My ping! Oh, this is, this is my ping. Oh! I was say, my DP has horrible ping. What is he aiming at? I think I'm fighting a mobile. Player. Is that like. Is that bullying? Holy my FPS. Does he know? Oh, what is with this dude? I'm always gonna be able to cat, bro. Oh my god. The running is devilish, bro. 